So tell me something. Have you ever been to or had a nail service done where you were cut by the file or by the arbor band during your service? Leave a comment down below and let me know if that has ever been your experience. I would love to hear from you because I'm curious to know what did you do when that happened? Did they stop the service? Did you continue the service? Um, how was it rectified? What was your experience? I want to know because I find it interesting that people experience things in services and then they don't talk about it, but they talk about it amongst each other. Like, yeah, that that's happened to me, but we don't have a conversation about it. So I'm very curious to know, have you ever been cut by a file before? And what was your experience? Do leave a comment to let me know. Wait and subscribe for Mummy's YouTube channels and hit the bell. Hey, what's going on? I appreciate you coming through to check this video where I am going to help you understand how not to cut your effing clients. At first, I wanted to make something that was mad flashy and whatnot, but then I recognized if I don't do something, I'm not putting nothing out and I ain't got time for all the fancy edits. Essentially, I just want to provide you with information that's going to help you, whether you're working on a client or yourself, with regards to ensuring you do not cut yourself or your clients. Oh wait, I forgot to show you what nails I'm working with. I always try to share my nails during my videos and I forgot this is what I'm currently working with. It was a quick redo. Yes, yes, I'm still wearing my pair ring. I'll do an updated video on that too. But in the meantime. And when I say don't cut, what I mean is uh, using your nail file. A nail file, <laughs> as much as many people may not realize it, is quite sharp and can in fact cut someone. So let me demonstrate to you real quick what I'm referring to. Uh, first and foremost, whenever someone is working on you, so just be aware of this, whether you are getting your nails done and or doing nails for a client, your nail file should always be fresh. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've been in a physical nail salon, so I'm not here judging. I don't know what's happening in these streets. I'm not, mm -mm, I don't even pay attention. I just know what people tell me they've experienced, and from what I've heard, it's not always the greatest. But, I mean, when you're in a space, you should know whether or not the stuff that's being used on you is brand new, or if it's, like, been utilized before. And if it is, you should not hesitate to request them to change it and if they don't want to you should not hesitate to turn around and walk out because i'm very sorry you deserve brand new new if you are a client the only exception to that rule is if you are a regular to a person that keeps your stuff in a box sometimes it looks like this <laughs> sometimes they have baggies whatever the case may be that is the only time that that may be okay to reuse your file because it's the one that was used on you in your previous appointment. But if you don't have an established relationship or if that's not your regular regular, uh-uh, don't do it. Just, I mean, we all trying to save money, but it ain't that serious. Uh, hopefully you can see the person take it out of a brand new pack. For me, this is how they look right now. But when I do take this out, what people don't recognize is that the edges are sharp um, all the way around. And if you think that just taking this out and going straight in and working on someone is a good idea, you're dead ass wrong. Because again, that's essentially how you can cut someone. So uh, what you would do is season it, basically dull it down a bit. Um, I have a separate file here and also files are different grits, but I'll talk about that on another video. But essentially, I would take a file that has never been used on an actual client. I would take a brand new file and what I would do is I would score it across all the sides, top and bottom. And then this one is ready to be utilized on a client. Now, let's say, for example, you're using an electric file, an e-file, and you want to replicate the same thing. <laughs> Believe it or not, these little arbor bands that are used on electric files, they, in fact, are sharp as well. So, boom, boom. Uh, I'll zoom in at some point. I hope you can see that. 
or I'll find a better thing. Or I'll even show the video with the e-file somewhere here. But anyways, uh, this little bad boy is sharp too. So when this comes in and starts to, if you run this on a really high rotation and you come in real close to that skin or uh, right here at the cuticle, this skin part is called the eponychium. That's not your cuticle. Your cuticle is right below that on the nail plate itself. So um, if this arbor band is not dulled, it as well will cut your client or yourself. So again, you could score the arbor band when it's on the e-file. I think, okay, yeah, I should have a video that I can put somewhere here uh, that you can check out. So as you watch it, but essentially the scoring is the same concept. Uh, each side, you would just uh, run the e-file um, along the clean, unused, on client uh, file to dull it out. And then once you've done that, it's ready to use on an actual client. So I'm just curious, like, is this something that you guys have heard about before? Is this something that you know about? Uh, are you even aware that this is something that matters? Because <laughs> some people really just don't know. Um, you know, when you go sit down for a service or if no one really breaks it down for you or if you don't investigate, how are you supposed to know? So, I mean, like, let me just give you the information because everybody should know these things, especially with something like a file. I mean, getting cut in those spaces, little germs can get in there. Any type of something can get in there and cause a um, bigger infection. You want to avoid that. So to be aware of these things or to give you this knowledge when you're having personal care done is important, I think, and it's good to share. Now, <laughs> I know some people might think, okay, this isn't important, or why does it matter? It matters because a small slit in the skin, think of it like a paper cut. Like if you came in with that file, <clears throat> oh, where's my own? So that way I don't have to use something as an example. So let's say, <laughs> I came in with this file on my nail and I came in real sharp, I could cut myself. Or if I'm working on a client and I didn't deal with that and I come in, I can cut someone. Or you wanna go around the cuticle line with it and you get to that eponychium skin part and it's sensitive and it's too sharp, you could cut the people then So or yourself. So I'm just, sharing this with you because I feel like it's insight that people should be aware of. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I'm pretty sure there are other nail techs out there sharing these details, but as at first I was gonna fancy it up and make it on some kind of pretty video. And then I recognized like, if I don't put this shit out there, it's not gonna get out there. Have you ever been to a salon or a nail tech that has used the file that you thought was used previously to your appointment? And have you said anything? I am very shocked and surprised by the amount of people that have said to me that they think that they went into a spot and the file that was used on them was used on somebody else. Even the little Arbor Man things that go on the e-file, like as much as I know, um, you know, they're small and they're quick and they're easier. What They're not meant to be shared. Like, that's nasty. You have to change them for every person. And I don't care what anybody says. The equipment is not expensive enough for me to not be able to afford one per client. Just saying. If worse comes to worse, price it into your appointment. But you cannot be reusing because, again, it's touching such delicate skin. And even the smallest little cut the smallest little bleed imagine that's left on that thing and they come and they use that on your head and oh oh hell no listen make sure it's clean if you don't see them put that brand new something on there why aren't you asking why are you just accepting that they're using what they ask for better there's nothing wrong with that i'm just giving you that tidbit ask for you're paying the money ask for better just so uh, hopefully you found that information um, useful. And again, it's something that you should be looking at when you either are going to be a client in a salon and or at a, with a nail tech, or you are um, doing nails for other people. Always use a brand new file at every appointment. 
and also make sure the file is seasoned or the arbor van the little small piece that goes on the e-file is seasoned uh, before using it on someone so that it does not cut period because you don't want that it's, it's just bad to do and if you can avoid it do so because cutting a client during an appointment especially if they're heavy bleeders it can be difficult to stop also you'd have to stop your entire service clear everything out throw away the trash throw the stuff that needs that stainless steel into a, like decontamination mode basically and then start again if the client is willing because it depends on how traumatized they are too so you know just take your time um be careful remember those uh little tips with regards to using a file so that again you do not cut your clients or yourself and um i hope that was helpful and hopefully not too long. Um, I appreciate your support. Um, let me know if you are aware of this as a technician. Oh, also, sorry, let me give you one more thing. Um, when I am finished my appointment, I will usually give my client that file to take with them. And I do that for several reasons. One is because if something should happen when they're away from me and they need to quickly fix it, they have a file and it's the one that they use during their appointment. Two, it eliminates me potentially using it on anybody else. Uh, usually after a service, this is my workspace, I will throw everything in the trash. Um, however, files again, I give them to the clients. Uh, three, it's a good opportunity for them to have something on the go again if they're, I don't know, out somewhere and something breaks, at least they could file it down, train them to do that if you are a nail tech. So that way they can preserve it for when they come to see you the next time, they can minimize the damage if they have the tools. Um, and so those that was something else I wanted to offer as some tips. So yeah, that's it for this quick video. Um, I appreciate, again, uh, your support and your tuning in. If you appreciate this content, please do uh, like and subscribe, as well as share the information. Um, it doesn't have to be wrapped in a pretty bow, but it is informative to be aware of these things, whether you are a client or you are a nail, te a nail technician yourself, um, or just someone who does nails, period. Uh, probably go into helping people understand at some point the different type of nail file grits, because there are different kinds out there. Some are more coarse than others, which are easier to cut clients, and some shouldn't even be used on just a natural nail bed but these are things that I think anybody who's doing nails should know. And I just wanna share the information because sharing is caring. So uh, I appreciate again your support and let me know uh, in the comments if you have any questions or concerns or if you wanna see something or if you have anything you wanna know about, I'd appreciate the interaction. Looking to build that small community. And uh, as I always say, y'all, I appreciate you, stay blessed. Cut.